Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has recently issued a warning regarding an error that may be causing problems for some users of Outlook for Desktop when trying to preview PDF files in Outlook. Now, if we just head over to Microsoft Support, which was last updated on the 18th of March, it says Outlook PDF preview error. This file cannot be previewed because there is no previewer installed for it. And Microsoft says that if you are seeing this message, there are two possible uh, reasons for the error. The first is regarding Acrobat Reader and the other is regarding the Power Toys utility app, which is a set of utilities for power users. And I do post quite frequently on this channel regarding the Power Toys app. Now, if we just head to um, that announcement, uh, Microsoft says that the first possible cause, which they say here, uh, is Adobe Acrobat Reader is not installed in the same bitness as Outlook for desktop. So if you head, um, if you open up Outlook and select File, Office Account and About Outlook, yeah, you will see the bit rating as we see in this example of your Outlook for desktop. Now, as an example, if you have a 64-bit version of Outlook for desktop installed and a 32-bit version of Adobe Acrobat Reader installed, then that error could be generated causing the issue and vice versa. If you have a 32-bit version of uh, Outlook for Desktop installed and a 64-bit version of Adobe Acrobat Reader installed, then you will could be also getting the same error. So the solution is to make sure that, as an example, if you have a 64-bit version of Outlook installed, to make sure that you have the same bit rating of Adobe Acrobat Reader installed 64-bit. And then the second possible uh, cause for the issue is regarding the PowerToys app and um, Microsoft says that Microsoft Power Toys um, is installed and has overridden the PDF preview setting, which is quite easy to change. Um, you just head over in Power Toys to File Explorer add-ons, and now you will see uh, in the preview pane, enable PDF.PDF preview, and just make sure that that is toggled off, and that should resolve the issue regarding that error message until Microsoft rolls out a fix. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.